I've just landed and I'm on my way to the hotel. You can instantly tell by the heat, the hustle and bustle, the noise, and of course, mopeds as far as the eye can see that we have to be in Ho Chi Minh City. I'm Arthur Williams, and in this series, I'm discovering the world of Embraer. In this episode, I'm in Vietnam, a country which is experiencing a boom in tourism and its economy opening up new opportunities for aircraft like Embraer's E2 Profit Hunter. It's going to be an incredible journey. Ho Chi Minh City attracts many tourists and they visit for a variety of reasons. Some come for the fascinating history and museums, while others want to experience the lively atmosphere of the street markets. From what I've seen after being here only a few days, there's a real energy and buzz about this place. This is called the non la, it's a traditional form of headdress. If you soak it in water, it provides quite a comfortable cooling aid. And I think I'm going to take one home as a souvenir. Say that please. Uh, 40,000? Yeah. One thing to get your head around is the currency 23,000 dong is one dollar. Yeah, 40,000. Okay. Yeah, Mung. Okay. <laughs> By 2021, Ho Chi Minh City is forecast to become Asia's second fastest growing economy, fueled by the vision and energy of the many entrepreneurs that have set up businesses here. I met Miss Mai, president and CEO of Vido Tour, one of Vietnam's leading tour operators. I asked her about her company and its remarkable growth. We start up with three people, and now we have around a thousand employees around the region. It's really exciting to grow together with a country. It's an extraordinarily inspiring story from somebody that's grown up in the Vietnam War, now owning a company that has a thousand employees. It's amazing. Are you seeing an increase within Vietnam of people traveling? The economy is growing, the people also increasing their incomes. So the, the needs of traveling uh, in business and uh, leisure also increasing a lot. Mrs. Mai, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much for coming. With a population of 12 million people, Ho Chi Minh City, also known as Saigon, is by far Vietnam's largest metropolis. But now I'm traveling a thousand miles further north to the capital Hanoi to see the E-190 E-2 visit the country for the first time as it continues its round the world tour. Hanoi Bai is a very modern airport, but it's also incredibly busy. Like many airports in this region, it's used as a transit hub by an increasing number of passengers. I caught up with Cesar Pereira and asked him about air travel in the region and how Embraer's new E2 Profit Hunter aircraft will help with growing demand. Cesar, thanks for joining me. Here we are in Hanoi. The beautiful aircraft made it as well. And now, it's fair to say that Asia, fueled by Vietnam specifically, is one of the largest growing markets in the world. Do you think that the crossover narrow body jet, and particularly the E2, is going to fit in very well here? Absolutely, Arthur. Uh, Asia is a vibrant region. As you said, it's the fastest growing market in the world. So the demand's there, but what are the airline operators going to do to fulfill that demand? So the airlines, they must have a fleet that is flexible enough to offer the flights in the most convenient time for the passengers. Not all passengers want to go to the same place. They come from everywhere. So the more options you can offer to the passengers, the better. And the crossover jets, the E-Jets E-2, with the right size, they can offer more point-to-point -point flights, they can fly to small destinations, what we call here the regional international flights. When you bring passengers from other countries like China, Japan, Korea, to Vietnam or to Southeast Asia, directly from their home city to the final destination. But only an aircraft with the right size can do that. How are crossover jets like the E-2 going to help operators keep cost of running them down, particularly in the light of recent fuel price hikes. At Embraer, we're able to bring to the new e 2 crossover all the new technologies available in the market. New engine, 
new wing, full fly-by-wire system. We were able to redesign the aircraft to make it more efficient. The E19E2 burns 17.3% less fuel than the current generation of E19. That's a huge saving, isn't it? It's amazing. I'm here in downtown Hanoi now, and the first thing that strikes you is the hustle and bustle of this beautiful city. I mean, look at this crossroads, for example. There are mopeds and cars flying all over the place. And let me tell you that crossing the road, you take your life into your own hands. It's hilarious. Also, you notice that how every single street specializes in something. So over here, we've got tailoring. We've got beautiful dresses and suits, and you can have something knocked up in 24 hours. This street, in front of me here is stationery, specializing in sellotape and masking tape. And then behind me over here is a street that seems to specialize in the holiday season. And at the moment, they seem to be celebrating Halloween. If I'm honest, Vietnam and particularly Hanoi has really caught me off guard. I had no idea that I could expect this much vibrancy. And it's easy to see why visitors and tourists are flocking here and it's only getting bigger as well, which is why there's a massive need for narrow body jets. It's full of hidden gems, this place. And there's one more hidden gem that I got to experience before I leave. And that's behind me here, the Lotus Water Puppet. So I'm going to go and have a look. I've arrived in Phu Quoc, an island off the southwest coast of Vietnam. This tropical paradise has always had a thriving fishing industry. But in recent years, it's developed into a five-star tourist destination, undoubtedly helped by the building of the new international airport in 2012. So I'm all checked in. I'm enjoying a nice dip in the pool, but what I'm really looking forward to is getting out and exploring this beautiful island and finding out why people love coming to this part of Southeast Asia. Over 85% of the population in Vietnam are Buddhist. The Ho Quoc Pagoda is the largest Buddhist temple on the island. Lucy, my guide, showed me around. The buildings here are just merged perfectly into the jungle and the forest as it rises up into the hill there. How beautiful is it here? This place is absolute paradise. Phu Quoc used to be famous for one thing and one thing only. I'm going to get myself out of the water and go and find out exactly what it is. This island is the world's biggest producer of fish sauce and Phu Quoc fish sauce is considered the champagne of fish sauces. Definitely fish sauce. How long have you been making fish sauce here? Yeah, 100 years. 100 years, really. That's a vintage industry, isn't it? After my visit, I took the opportunity to speak to some people on vacation here. Hello. <laughs> you taking photographs? You visiting? Yes, I'm this, uh, this is here for two days. Yeah, where have yeah, you come I'm, from? I'm from Hanoi. Oh, yeah. okay. We're very adventurous people, so we keep traveling. We're very adventurous family, rather. People who have come here, they really love to stay here. But they want to come back to Vietnam for a relaxed vacation. Do you think that in five or ten years' time there's going to be a lot of Asian I tourists I think so. Here? We don't really see Japanese here yet, but we see a lot of Chinese and Koreans already, so... What did you make of all the airports? They were nice? Were they better than what you had expected? It was no. so crowded. So crowded? Mm -hmm. Having spent some time here in Phu Quoc, it is obvious that they are gearing up for a huge increase in tourists. Having spoken to some of the people and visitors that are already enjoying the paradise here, they're being made to feel very welcome. There's loads for them to see and do. And by far the most preferred method of arriving is by air. There is no doubt that in five to 10 years time, this place, this island and Vietnam as a whole is gonna be a major travel destination. 
what a memorable trip I've had. I've seen for myself just how beautifully picturesque Vietnam is and also how crossover jets will help other passionate travellers like me enjoy these magical destinations. Unfortunately, though, my time is up here in Vietnam, but do join me next time for what will be another incredible journey.